Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today in this video, we'll see how to create a Maven project in VS Code and how to execute the same. And we will see how to add the dependency as well. So for this, uh, you have to go to the VSTS. In the VSTS, you will find this extension button. So if you go to this extension, first we have to do a couple of things. You have to add this Java extension package. Okay. So that will be come here when you go here, just like Java extension package for Java, right? So this, when you click on this extend pack for Java, so this extension has everything that support Java and a debugger and creating some Maven projects. This is Maven for Java, right? So and this is a runner for Java. So when you click on install, so it will be installed as a package. So make sure you are installing all these four components. I mean, all the four extensions as well. Okay. So once if you've done this one, then you can come to the file. I mean, explorer option. So here you can see this Maven coming. Okay. So without adding this extension, this will not come. So one, if you're able to see this Maven, just click on this plus icon. So which is for creating the Maven project, right? So when you mouse over here, you can see it is coming as a create Maven project, right? So by default, what we'll, we will select this one. So when you create a, any project in Eclipse or any, any uh, IDE, right? So we will collect, select this one as a Maven archetype as a quick start one, right? So when you click on this one, it is asking for the version. So the most recent one is 1.4, right? So simply click on this and it is asking for the group ID, right? So usually we give the group ID and the artifact ID, right? So let it be the same com dot example as a, a group ID. And it is asking for the artifact ID. Okay, let it be the same as a demo. After this, it will ask you to save the project in somewhere reverse or location. I mean, basically it's a destination folder. So right now I'm putting on the desktop. Okay, so once this is done, and you will be, I mean, the project will be created. You can see create the project in the task, right? So now you can see all the, this is what the group ID we have given, and this is the artifact ID. So now the project is project creation is in progress. So once that is done, we can see that project get created on a, the destination folder. Okay, so yeah, you can see it is generating the archetype everything. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. Yeah, now you can see this is what the property group ID we have given, and this is artifact ID. And the snapshot, if you want to give anything like a 1.0, also fine. And it is asking for the confirmation. Just simply click on Y and put the name enter. Right. So after this, you can see this is created. And now we can see the Maven project is created under this particular for space. I mean, uh, destination folder, right? So simply click on the open. So that will, I mean, uh, the project will open in your uh, VS Code. So now here you can see this is a project name, which is demo, right? So under the same project, I mean, uh, same structure, like a Maven, um, Maven structure, main paste, and where you can see the form.xml file. So this is a project that we created just now. And if you, if you minimize this one, and if you go to this, um, okay, so one second. Okay, so here you can see, this is our project part where we have created as a demo, right? So when you go, when you expand this one, now we can dependencies, right? So right now, when you create a Maven project, by default, we'll be getting as a JUnit one, right? So by default, the JUnit dependencies will come in the form.xml, right? I will open this uh, form.xml, okay? So this is a dependency currently what we have, JUnit, right? The record for our project, right? So simply click on this plus icon on the record, right? So selenium hyphen Java, just put on enter. So now you record, right? So when you click on this, so now you can see this Selenium latest version is 4.1.1, right? So that get added at the test ng. Right? Simply go for test ng and click on enter. So select the right dependency that is coming from org dot test ng, right? So now you can see the test ng also get go to our project and we can create some test. Okay, so I will go to the test and here I will create some sample test cases. So test dot Java. So before that, I will add some other dependencies, uh, which is web driver manager. So this is a web driver manager, right? So I will select this one also. Yeah, this one also get added. 
So all the latest version will be pulled automatically. So if you want to change it to a particular version, then you have to change it. Um, okay. I will, yeah. So this is a class five, which we, um, from VS Code or not. Okay, so now that launching the browser, so we were about to use this web driver manager. So simply type in the Eclipse, right? The thing. We wait for a couple of time. I mean, a couple of time. Okay. So now you can see uh, we were getting this web driver manager, right? So that is coming from the dependency what we have added and Chrome driver dot setup, right? So after this web driver, Okay, it is. We have to import this one. Okay, so now the driver has set, then we can write the code for launching the browser. So driver.get and we'll simply launch the Google. Okay. So let's see, this is launching the Google and we'll wait for some time after launching the Google. Okay, so now uh, you can have to add the exceptions here. So you can go for a quick fix and just add this declarations. Okay, so now you can see the button here, right? It's one button. So this is coming from our extension which we have already installed, right? So this is the one we have installed, extension pack for Java. So this is a runner, right? So this is a runner for Java. If you don't install this one, then you may not get this run button, okay? So now we'll let's execute this one. Yeah, you can see the browser is about to start now. Yeah, so driver launched successfully. Yeah, so this is how. So in VS Code also, we can create a Maven project and we can add the dependencies and we can execute the codes, right? So similarly, if you want to add any other uh, dependencies also, that is also possible. So for example, Cucumber, right? So when you click on enter, so you will be getting all the Cucumber related, which is IO, right? So basically we are using IO.Cucumber. So where you can see this is getting added automatically, right? So any any anything is fine. So because this is all coming from Maven Central, so rest assured, right? So you can see all the rest assured as well. And you can see the, for example, uh, log 4 j right? So it will come, it is loading actually. Okay, so I mean, all the dependencies will come. So why this log 4G, it will come, it will come definitely. Yeah. So if you put this log 4G, you can see log 4G also coming, right? So this one we have to select on the Apache one, right? So likewise, you can add the dependencies and you can execute the script from the VS code also. And we can create a Maven project when you add this particular Java extension pack. So you were able to do all the stuff in the VSTS also. So this is what uh, all about this video. Just I have said whatever I know, but maybe, maybe there will be a, another way of, uh, better way or good way of uh, creating a project and I mean, uh, adding the dependency in the VS code itself. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for watching.